pass it. He's going to run it in again. Touchdown, Cowboys. Down he goes. He's sacked. Smith looks for the corner. It's caught. Looks to the corner. He's got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Welcome to Inside Cowboy Football with head coach Dave Christensen. It's all delivered by Union Wireless with Student Connect. And that means national calling and unlimited texting. That's it, Coach. Wow, what a game over in Bowling Green, Ohio, last time out for the Cowboys. The uh, it, you talk about a roller coaster ride up and down, but the Cowboys performed and got the win. Main thing, three and zero, Coach. Tell us a little bit about that. No, no uh, question. Thinking. I thought our kids uh, battled uh, nonstop uh, on a day where there was a lot of ups and downs, and uh, you know we had. Uh, you know, six takeaways on the day, uh, two block kicks, which uh, ended up being the difference in the football game. Takeaway offense and defense, it was good, bad, and ugly, both sides of the ball. But uh, those takeaways and block kicks uh, were the difference in that football game. Cowboys 3-0 and for the first time in 15 seasons. Why don't we take a look at the highlights, Coach? Here we go. Okay, here we start out uh, with a, a sprint out pump by Austin McCoy and just a phenomenal effort by Ghali Muhammad on special forces getting down and, and stopping the returner uh, for a zero yard gain on the return. Uh, then we come back here, uh, they run a, a power play inside. Uh, we do a great job of getting the ball out and, and recovering it by Luke Ruff. Next play is uh, Schilt's pass to Blair Burns is uh, intercepted by Blair and, and a great return, a great effort on the interception, then just a phenomenal return. Questionable call there uh, on Brian Hendricks blocking, but uh, certainly a, a big turning point for us. Uh, and then we get uh, a handoff here to uh, Alvester Alexander. Uh, missed some blocks at the point of attack. Alvester does a phenomenal job of uh, you know turning a negative play into a big play. Got some blockers out in front of him and, uh, and gets it in the end zone to get us our first touchdown. Then we have uh, uh, Brett Smith uh, sprinting out here, finding Mazi Ogbana over the middle for a 40-yard completion off of a sprint out pass. Then we come back here and hand it to Gali Muhammad on a read uh, zone play, and uh, Gali does a nice job of getting the six yards and getting into the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. This next uh, kickoff is Daniel Sullivan uh, does a bit of a pooch kick. Uh, they have problems feeling the ball. Uh, bounces off uh, of their returner, one of their returners, and Blair Burns is in place to recover the ball uh, to give the uh, Cowboys the ball at the third yard line. Then uh, Samuel, the running back uh, for Bowling Green, fumbles here. Uh, we strip the ball, great job of, of, of stripping the ball. Mark Weston Huff is in the right spot, sees the ball, picks it up, takes it in the end zone for a touchdown. This next play is uh, Josh Bazoon's on a sack of uh, uh, Matt Schilt, their quarterback, for a seven-yard loss. And again, I thought our, our defensive line did a nice job uh, uh, getting up the field and, and pressuring their quarterback. And, uh, you know, we just uh, got to continue to do that uh, throughout the end of the game also. Then uh, just a great job here by Ben Durbin. And all day long, we get great effort in our field goal block team and our PAT block team. We get our first block of the day uh, right there. And we were close on, uh, on almost every single kick. Then uh, this next play... Uh, Again, a uh, sack by Bazoons and uh, knocks the ball, takes the ball right out of the quarterback's hands, recovers it, creating another takeaway for the Cowboys. Then we got Brett Smith here on a drop back pass, uh, got a, a mesh route, a crossing route. He finds Dominic Rufran, and Dom takes it the uh, rest of the distance for the touchdown. This next play uh, is uh, Blair Burns again uh, intercepting a slant pass. Uh, uh, just does a great job of breaking on the ball here. The receiver's trying to run a slant. Uh, he cuts him off, intercepts the football. Phenomenal play by the, the young corner. And this last play here is the block of the extra point. This is the tie of the game. Just great penetration, as you can see, uh, by a number of players here uh, pushing and getting in there, but uh, ends up being Josh Bazoons and Gabe Napton both getting their hands on the ball. And uh, without a doubt, the, the biggest play in the ball game to give us uh, to secure the win and uh, give us uh, a three and zero start to the season. Boy, what an amazing ending! And that is the third block for the Cowboys this season. That's something you work on, Coach. You've had 13 block kicks uh, in the three years you've been here. 
Well, we have. We, uh, we we put a huge emphasis on special forces here and blocking kicks. And, uh, you know, we've probably won four ball games uh, in the past uh, two and a half years uh, with block kicks. And so, uh, you know, we'll continue to, to work hard on that and make that a big part of our, uh, of our game. Well, let's continue with Inside Cowboy Football. Here's Kevin McKinney. Thank you, David. We're with a couple of our very favorite guys. Everybody loves offensive linemen. You guys uh, are good guys, big guys. There's a, men a special mentality, though, about being an offensive lineman. Would you say, John, uh, John Hutchins and Nick Carlson, um, is there a different mentality to be an offensive lineman, do you think? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Uh, I mean, you got to know going into it that you're not going to get much of the glory or recognition, but uh, you know, we're not, we're not in it for that. We're here to help out the team and do what we can. So, You guys uh, are veterans, you being a senior, you being a junior. There seems to be obviously having a 3-0 start to the season, there's a different feeling, but what, what is it about this year as opposed to last year? Um, I'd, it's, it's tough to explain. It's, it seems different from years as far as team chemistry. I mean, you saw it, you felt a little bit back in winter conditioning all the way back then. And then as we got closer to fall camp, we got this new freshman class in. And, um, they joined, they gelled with the team really quick um, in ways that I haven't seen before. And, um, you know, practices seem to go a little bit quicker than they used to just because you're distracted. Um, you don't realize the work you're putting in. You're just kind of out there with your boys for a couple hours. John, yeah, being a senior, now you're going to be a captain for this week's game, and I know that's something you're proud of. Um, you have to look at yourself as a team leader. What does that mean to you? Uh, really good, actually. Uh, you know, putting all the work in with these guys since uh, four years ago when I first came here for, for, for fall camp. You know, putting all the work in with you guys and everything like that is just, it's, it's a good feeling to know that people see the hard work you're doing and, and the things you're doing to help out this team. Nick, you know, um, this is Nebraska week and everybody's been looking forward to it and, and uh, kind of pointing towards it. Does uh, having played Texas and, and some of these other the Boise State, TCU, some of those big games, is that a big help going into this game? Yeah, I mean, as you've seen from two years ago, um, just the sort of atmosphere, the college football atmosphere you get to bring into Laramie, Wyoming, it's it's special for our fans and it's fun for the guys on the team and one thing that we're trying to get away from is just sort of hanging with those teams for a half. We're trying to pursue further um, and you know trying to get a win and not just hanging with them as, as a moral victory. So, John, uh, offensive linemen have the reputation to be big eaters. I guess you have to uh, to get to the size you are. Uh, both of you, but John first, give me a couple of your favorite meals. What do you like to eat? Uh, I'm a big fettuccine chicken alfredo type of guy. Uh, my mom, she came out for uh, the first game and, you know, she made, uh, she made me a, a nice huge plate of that after the game, so I really enjoyed that. Also, uh, I'm a big uh, lasagna guy, pastas, any type of pastas, and my parents do a pretty good job when they come in for some games, you know, getting me the stuff that I really like, so. How about you, Nick? Um, you know, I would stick with the pasta, any sort of uh, marinated chicken in there. Um, also a fan of burgers and steaks. Now, do you guys have more meals a day than everybody else? I've heard that in the past, that sometimes offensive linemen will eat six, seven meals a day. Is that uh, an old tale, or is that true? Yeah, it's, it's true. I, you try and get as many meals as you can a day, as many calories, but um, you sort of have to, with the sort of work that we're putting in at practice and lifting, if you skip a meal, you, you see a, a five pound drop in weight. And for the general public, people are like, oh, five pounds, I'd love to lose five pounds. But for us, we get to run more if we do that. So <laughs> it's more negative for us. How, how excited are you for this week, you two? Really excited, you know, uh, like he said, you know, how many chances do you get a year to play a, a top 10 team, you know, bringing in that type of talent into Laramie, we're, we're, we're looking to see how we add up with the rest of the country. And there's a buzz around campus, you can see it in class with your other classmates and stuff, and um, it's really nice to see the town of Laramie get up for a game, get out, um, you know, it's exciting running out there to a packed War Memorial Stadium. So. 
Well, the town of Laramie and the state of Wyoming is happy to have both of you guys. John, Nick, thank you very much. Thanks. We'll be back with Dave right after the Union Wireless call of the game. Here's the snap. The kick is blocked. It is blocked. The Cowboys have blocked the point after. How about that? Josh Bazoons, we think, got the block. Boy, you talk about a big game coming up for the Cowboys. Saturday, 5.30 p.m. in War Memorial Stadium, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. I think they're ranked ninth in the country coming into this game. Very good opponent and obviously a big game for the 3-0 Cowboys. Hey, it is a big game, and it's a big game because it's the next game on our schedule. And, uh, you know, we're excited uh, to be playing in a game of this magnitude, to, to have them at home. Uh, we'll have a tremendous crowd here, uh, you know, against a good football team. And uh, what an opportunity for the Wyoming Cowboys. Well, that's it for Inside Cowboy Football, delivered by Union Wireless with Student Connect. That means national calling and... Unlimited texting, Dave. That's it. We'll see you next time on Inside Cowboy Football.